Okay guys, I just thought I'd quickly jump on um, and give you an update. I flew to the UK um, just over 10 days ago, 12 days ago now. Anyway, I flew back to Spain two days ago um, and I have now left where I normally live and I'm heading up to uh, my villa, which is just outside of Cartagena um, because I'm having a pool built now. So I'm going up there to, uh, to spend a couple of weeks just to supervise what's going on. So it's a bit different, this vlog, from normal. I wanted to bring you along, give you something different to watch. Um, if you do like this content, sorry about the light, the light is so bright. But if you do like this content, then um, please let me know in the comments as well because I'll happily do more like this. It's a little bit different from the normal stuff. Anyway, I'm going to sign off and I will pick it back up when I've got something more to tell you about this pool that's going in at our villa. Okay, so I've just put this photo here for a bit of context, just so you can see what it actually looked like before we started the pool build itself. Okay, so this is day one of the pool build. Um, I just thought I'd give you a daily update of how they're getting on. So today's been a really hard day for the guys because they've been digging by hand all day because of water pipes under the ground where the pool's going to be. And I actually thought that the earth would just be mud underneath, but it's actually stone and concrete, so they've been breaking it up all day. But I'll spin the camera around, you can see exactly what they've done on the first day of this pool. So build. basically, the pool is going to be just a small pool. Um, it's actually going to be three metres by three metres. Here we're going to have some steps and there'll be a bench that also goes there. The actual depth of the pool is going to be one metre forty. So um, it would be sort of chest height, which is perfect just for sitting in, relaxing, having a glass of wine or beer, that sort of thing. But this is what they've managed to do today. Um, as you can see, they've gone down probably about 90 centimetres um, out of the 140 that's required. So I think they've done extremely well for their first day, um, and particularly in the Spanish heat as well. So tomorrow, we'll see how they get on, and I'll keep you up posted with more. Okay, so it's day two of the pool build, as I promised. Not sure if you're interested or not, but I thought I'd show you. So uh, I'll spin the camera around and just show you where we've got today. Basically, the guys have been working really hard again. Uh, they've been digging out, which is obviously the major job. They're doing it by hand because it's not possible to get a digger into here. Um, and also the ground is super hard with a lot of stone, so they've been breaking rocks and stuff like that. But anyway, I'll spin the camera around. You can see what they've done on day two. So there you got it, um, it's still just a hole, but you may remember yesterday it was down probably, I don't know, about 40 centimetres, we're now down to about 100 centimetres, so they're really, really getting on with it. Um, the actual finish depth, I'm not sure if I mentioned it yesterday or not, is going to be 140 centimetres, so it'll be sort of chest height, but um, yeah, they've done really well, um, and I'll, again, I'll just keep updating every day, showing you how it's coming on. Okay guys, it's day three of the pool build and as I said, what I'll do is I'll do a short upload every day just so you can see the progression. So I'll spin the camera around and you can see what the guys have got up to today. So today they've been breaking these edges um, where we've got the walls there. Um, this is basically solid stone. I don't know if you can see on there, but it is literally rock on both sides. So pretty much all day there's been a jackhammer there. Uh, tapping away at it little by little to get it as it is um, from a depth point of view it's about at chest height so um, they've really done a lot today so I would hope tomorrow day four the actual hole should be built um, and then with a bit of luck we can then get the reinforcing in and then they can start doing the concrete and it'd be nice if they could get that done really before the weekend because then the concrete can set and then on Monday um, I'm kind of hoping tiling could start, but I'm no pool expert, but that's my plan anyway, if, if it goes as I would hope. Also, just in case anyone's interested in seeing this uncovered, this is my scooter um, that I bought just under a year ago, actually. Um, I decided when I ordered it, I chose it in this matte black colour, which has kind of got a grey tint to it as well, but... These are absolutely fantastic when you live in Spain because the weather's brilliant all the time. I literally abandon the car whenever I'm here and this is what I use. So yeah, just what I'd show you. Okay, so as normal, um, it's that time of the day. I'll do a day four update. Um, been quite a lot going on today. The hole for the actual pool 
will be finished tomorrow in the end. It's taken longer than we thought because there was just still so many rocks at the bottom that needed to come out and be chipped through. So it's taken a little bit longer. Um, so that'll be finished tomorrow. Also today, just while I'm on the subject of what's been done, I've painted the lounge in this villa and I've also painted the terrace out the back. I just thought I'd get it done. It's something I've been putting off. So busy day today. Anyway, I'll switch the camera around and you can see where we are. So day four update, we're now down to about 170 centimetres. Um, that's really more or less where we need to be. We will go a little bit deeper tomorrow, but overall it's where it needs to be. Um, I'm still trying to work out how this pipe is going to work because the only thing I can think of is that it's cut and then rerouted because obviously it's right in the middle of the pool. So I don't know, I'll let the experts deal with that. But yeah, big day, lot done, um, and overall really, really pleased with the progress. Okay guys, day five, update of the pool build. I won't chat about it, I'll just show you what we've been up to today. So the pool is hella deep now, um, it's about two metres. Um, so that's finished. With regards to the tube, if you've been following the updates, we had this waste pipe, water waste pipe going through here. We've now rerouted that. And it goes all the way down here so that's that one sorted uh, monday we'll be having the steel reinforcing going in and then once that's in we'll be able to get the concrete pumped in um, so i'm looking forward to that. that that really is a big stage then on this side we've also got um, some work that's done so we've dug out this side which is ready for the uh, pump housing um, and then we've got to break this path here as well just so that we can get all the tubes and that pass through so yeah we've come on a lot since monday when basically this was just a garden so yeah big moves okay day eight pool build update um so you may recall if you've been following the updates the plan was yesterday was to get the concrete put into here um we was going to have a 25 millimeter on the base 20 20 centimeter sorry 25 centimeters on the base 20 centimeters around the edges that was actually called off today because even though the weather now looks absolutely fantastic as you can see um, unfortunately up until about lunchtime today it was hit and miss whether it was going to rain so the decision was made to abandon that because the concrete had gone in and it was raining it just sort of ruined the whole job so anyway instead there was some extra pipe work that's been put in that's running down this side um, and it was also some extra piping that was put in down there which needed to be done for this filtration system so that was put in then the tiles were lifted up eight of the tiles were lifted up on the path and that was passed through to where the pump's going to be so all in all something was done hopefully tomorrow the concrete will, will get done Okay, day nine pool build update. Um, so we finally got the concrete in this morning, as you may have seen if you'd seen the previous stories. Um, this has been in here now for about four hours. And as you can see, it's really starting to set already. Um, so it needs about three days to really dry out. And then once this is dried out, we can then put the stairs and we're also having a built-in seat here as well stairs coming down this corner and then onto a seat so that'll be started on monday but yeah really pleased with how that's gone today um the lads that were working on the concrete and done a super clean job um so yeah that's day nine update okay so this is where we're currently at so um today the guys have been really busy they've concreted here where we had that big drop before so they've obviously had where we've had the water pipe pipe through um, that's now been concreted they've concreted all the way around the edge in as well uh, today they've put the um, tiles on the poor edging tiles they've also raised the bench by another brick height so that's a little bit better if you're a shorter person um, they've also fitted the electrics here now for the light which will go in we've got electrics here as well um, which I believe I think for part of the pump house I'm not sure on that one um, but that's all good we've got 
We've now got water pipe through here as well. At one point I thought it was going to have to come from under the villa, but it hasn't. It managed to tap into it from the main supply that we've got running underneath the house, so that's really good. So, yeah, really, really big day. Really pleased with how it's gone. Okay, guys, it's been, I think, maybe a week since I gave you a pull update. So I thought what I'd do is I'd spin the camera around and just show you where we currently are. But one of the things that I kind of want to put across is this is just our second residence. This isn't where we normally live. This is a holiday home. So what we've done is because it's actually a very small garden, as you can probably see here, it's not a big garden at all. We wanted to get everything in this garden that you would normally get in a bigger property. So we wanted to have an outside dining area, which is actually this area here. We've used this for quite a long time. So we have like a nice outdoor uh, sofa and outdoor chairs and a nice dining table that raises and lowers. So we've got that area crap. We also wanted an area where you could sunbathe, which is what we've got over here. And then of course we wanted a pool area, but we didn't want a pool that was going to take up the whole of this area because it's very small. So we wanted to keep it within its dimensions. So in the end, we decided to opt for a pool this size, three meters by three meters, because it just feels more correct with the dimensions of the garden and what we've got to play with. Anyway, I'll spin the camera around and you can see where we're at currently. With it. Update. Um, as you can see, we've now got the path tiled again. We've actually extended the tiling on the path down the right hand side. So these tiles now match, uh, sorry, now meet with the pool edging tiles all around the pool has also now been tiled as well so yeah that's been a full day really doing that cutting it in and stuff like that so yeah really pleased with how it looks um we're slowly getting there as i mentioned a few days ago it's the beginning of the end but i think it really is starting to come together now um it's starting to look very good so very very pleased with what's gone on today and uh we'll see what happens over the next day or two So quick little update, um, guys are doing a couple of jobs right now as we speak, the guy on the left there is still uh, sorting out all the plumbing and that for the pump house and then uh, there's a couple of guys in the pool that are now adding the mosaics. So um, we're really motoring with this today. Um, we're virtually there now, um, the speed at which these guys have worked for me is just completely unheard of when you talk about building pools, you know, normally a pool build can take eight to 12 weeks so these guys have just been absolutely incredible but today um, if you've been following the updates you can see what they've done they've put all the mosaic in of the pool in um, the benches have been rounded off now and they've put a nice blue edging that I asked for around them just to make the steps of the bench stand out a little bit they've started to build um, the area for the pool pump so they've got a little housing there for it so tomorrow the guys will be back they'll be putting the pump in doing the wiring through there's a couple of little bits still left obviously to do to the pool um the lights got to go on there's a couple there's three pipes here as well which need to have some work done um but other than that we're basically there so super super pleased with how it's turned out in such a small period of time um really looking forward to getting the garden all nice um and put back how we want it um but for sure once it's done we're going to be um exceptionally pleased with it know um somewhere to really sort of chill and relax now so really pleased with that okay so um i've been here at my house where i've been having the pool done for three weeks i'm now driving from here which is just outside cartagena five hours back to the marlboro area pick up my wife and then tomorrow i'll be turning around and coming straight back here because we've still got a little bit left to do on the pool so anyway wish me luck and I'll pick it back up with you again soon. And there it is. Finally, the pool's done. I think it's 17 or 18 days of actual grafting to get it all done. Um, but it's now done. Really pleased with it. Not been in it yet, but I can now think about getting there, getting in it with a nice glass of wine or beer or something like that and enjoying all the, all the hard work. But um, it probably don't look much on video, but it really really does look great and it's been really worth the 18 days of our graft so super pleased 
Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, as you can see, as I said before, it's only a three meter by three meter pool, but super happy with how it's come out. Really like the tiling around the edge in here. The path has obviously now been extended, so we had about half a tile extra added to the left hand side, which just makes the entrance in feel wider. You may remember that I said also we wanted a sunbathing area, which we've now got there. It's in the shade because of the time of the day that I'm filming, but that looks really good there. Here we've got a area where we basically we can just sit and lounge and have tea or wine or beer or whatever. So that's a really great area. Here we've got the pump house, which you may remember. Um, that is now all finished, as you can see. So we've got all the filtration system in there as well. And what the guys did was they enclosed it in with this aluminium sheeting so it's perfect it just sits really well there it's low enough that you know you can you can hardly notice it if i'm honest with you from the height point of view it's literally about 12 14 centimeters high so that's perfect but yeah super happy with how it's come out um really really pleased and a great investment